Southwest Oklahoma is loaded with great spots for kayaking, especially in the Wichita Mountains. The mountains themselves provide excellent backdrops for scenery for kayaking. This video will cover only publicly accessible locations from Alpha's to Fort Sill. Also, I put coordinates in the video description to aid you in finding these launch points. We will start in the far west portion of the Wichita Mountains in the Quartz Mountains. Historically, Lake Alta stays fairly low due to lake water being used for farm irrigation to the south of the lake. The lack of rain annually for this part of the state really plays the biggest factor in the low water levels. However, there are still some solid spots for kayaking, even with lower water levels. One of my favorite spots is just below Twin Peaks. You can put your kayak in the water right here near the swimming area and paddle northwest to this awesome beach and amongst the rocks here. Once again, depending on the water elevation, there might be different rocks to jump off and even different areas to paddle through. Tread very carefully here. Never jump into the water from rocks without checking below, checking the depths, and everything else. Be safe about it. Another great area for kayaking is just below the dam. There's a nice long stretch of North Fork of the Red River that stays fairly deep. You can rent kayaks at this location here on the north side of the river. Now, in years where the area receives ample rainfall and the floodgates are open, you can actually kayak all the way out to the opening of Devil's Canyon. You can also put in right here via a dirt road under the bridge. Once again, if the water is low, don't even attempt it because you're going to do more hiking and pulling your kayak than actual kayaking. Now we will head east a few miles to Tom Steed Lake in Great Plains State Park. This is one of my favorite areas. You can put in at the boat ramp located right here and just a few yards north there's a really cool area for kayaking and once again depending on the water levels there can be a maze of granite boulders submerged in the water that you can explore in between. You can swim, fish, even jump into some of the deeper areas. At the time of filming this lake was actually lower than usual but it's predominantly filled up. It doesn't get near as low as Lake Altus does. There are several areas along the lake shore that also provide great scenery while kayaking. About 15 minutes east of Tom Steed Lake is the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge. Thanks to the Triple C constructing several dams in the 1930s, there are now numerous lakes for us to enjoy, hiking, fishing, and kayaking. There are a couple of spots that look like they would make insane whitewater adventures when the water is up, but it is illegal to kayak in any of the creeks. First off, let's take a look at the lakes you are unable to kayak in. In Sharon's Garden Wilderness Area, Caddo Lake on the north side, Treasure Lake and Post Oak Lakes on the south side are all off limits for kayaking. A few miles to the east, there are a handful of other small lakes that are also off limits. Burford Lake, Lost Lake, Osage Lake and Crater Lake. All of these are off limits to kayaking. Now, I did learn this the hard way as I kayaked several of these lakes one day only to receive phone calls and texts from friends notifying me that I broke the rules by doing so. Now keep this in mind. First and foremost, this is a wildlife refuge, so the rules and regulations are in place for a reason. If you show up to a parking area, it's completely full and there's no place to park. Don't park on the grass or outside of any parking areas. You will receive a hefty fine. Also, take your trash with you. If we don't take care of this area, eventually it'll be off limits to us. Now, despite several smaller lakes being off limits for kayaking, there are still several where it is permitted. At the time of filming, several of these lakes were much lower than usual due to the exceptional drought that we have experienced in 2022. It has been a brutally hot summer with very little accumulating rainfall. French Lake is a great lake to kayak in, but it is difficult to access right now with the low water levels. This is the best location to put in your watercraft. Unfortunately, you'll have to paddle through lots of lily pads to reach the deeper portions, especially in the summer and early fall. Quanta Parker is a large lake that has easy access. Parking is limited, however, and it does fill up quickly, so if you plan on visiting this lake, arrive early. Like French Lake, there is a gravel road leading down to the water for easy access here on the south side. This lake was formed when Quanta Creek was dammed up, and you can still see the tops of the high granite cliffs that flank parts of the shore. This is a beautiful lake, especially at sunset with Little Baldy on the western horizon. 
Chances are, if you spend a lot of time out here, you've probably seen my cousin and his awesome personal watercraft. He's a seasoned fisherman, and he pulls some decent sized fish out of this lake and others on the refuge. Next up is Jed Johnson Lake. This lake is known for the infamous tower looking over the rocky shoreline with Central Peak behind it. This is another lake with simple access as you can pull right in here and easily put your kayak in the water. This is definitely one of my favorites. The lake has some deep places and the scenery on the northern side is amazing. Like any lake out here, there are boulders scattered along the shoreline and you'll find plenty of moss as well. Just north of Central Peak, you'll find Rush Lake tucked away. This is another area that is great for kayaking. However, the launch points are super muddy right now with the lower water. When it is at full capacity, the water line comes up to the gravel parking area and it's a much cleaner launch. Lake Elmer Thomas is the largest lake within the boundaries of the Wildlife Refuge, although it does share some surface area with Fort Sill. Mount Scott looms over the northwest side of the lake. On the refuge side, the best launch point is right here at the boat ramp. Because this lake is bigger, it does tend to get choppier than the others. One of my favorite areas to kayak is here just above the dam. In the evening time, it is quite picturesque as the sun lights up the granite on its way down. There are also launch points on the Fort Sill side if you have base access. Okay, stay with me now. We only have a couple of spots remaining. The next one is just outside the eastern gate of the refuge in the cobblestone community of Medicine Park. During festivals, you can float and kayak the Medicine Creek right behind the stage. Also, another spot is on Gondola Lake between the location of the old power plant and the Lake Latonka Dam. There are a couple of locations to put your kayak in along here, but it can be tricky and muddy. If you're staying at one of the Airbnbs along the northern shore of Gondola Lake, you'll have easy access into the water, so definitely consider that option. Also, if you choose Medicine Park, you'll have plenty of options for food and drinks once you come out of the water. Next, we will head up the north side of Lake Latonka at Robinson's Landing. This boat ramp is much quieter than the ramp located on the southeast side of the lake at Schoolhouse Slough, and it offers the opportunity to paddle west up the Medicine Creek a mile to an awesome set of cascades. Now, keep in mind that you must stay off the rocks around these cascades. This is privately owned property, so make sure you stay in the water. This is also the demarcation point between the crystal clear portion and the muddy portion of Medicine Creek. Last but not least, those of you who have access to Fort Sill can explore the Medicine Bluffs area. This is one of my favorites as well. You can put your kayak in the water here and paddle west among the legendary towering granite cliffs and under the canopy of shade trees in the warmer months. So as you can see, there are a lot of options for kayaking in the Wichita mountains. Now, even if you don't own your own kayak, there are rental options. I mentioned this location in Quartz Mountain State Park. You can get a kayak here for the North Fork of the Red River. I don't believe there are any rental options for Tom Steed Lake, but if there are, feel free to leave information in the comments. Now, at Base Camp and Medicine Park, you can rent kayaks here to use all over the Wichita mountains. Finally, at Robinson's Landing, you can rent kayaks for your trip up the Medicine Creek to check out the Cascades or just to paddle around parts of Lake Latonka. I'll put all the contact information for these places in the video description. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and maybe even learned a few new spots to kayak. If you did enjoy this content, feel free to share it on your social media. Also, if you stumbled across this channel on accident and you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I think over 80% of our viewers are not subscribed, so please consider doing so. Anyway, have yourself a great day, and I hope to see you on the water.